3D Coat version 3.2 has brought new changes to the voxel primitives tool and if you activate it you can see here we have a number of new primitives there's uh, of course the old ones such as sphere, cylinder, etc but now there's also freeform and surface primitives you can see they are indicated by FF in front of them as in for freeform let's activate the FF blob and you'll see that we have a sphere here and it looks to be a mesh object that's because it is of course and around it is a lattice cage you can click and drag the points or vertices of this lattice and of course edit them as such over in the parameters tab there are a few more parameters that uh, you can change such as the cage resolution you can change it to 2 by 3 2 by 4, 3 by 3, and so on. This applies to all of the other new primitives. Of course, there's more options for just about all of these. And also, the FF ring, torus, and tube, and as well as the other tubes, they also have another option down here called inner radius. If we change our perspective, and uh, it does change that, you can see here that we can change the inner radius as uh, as we slide this around. One is maximum, of course, and 0.01 is minimum. Another thing to point out is that you can use symmetry as well for creating objects. Let's use the blob again for our example here and uh, to demonstrate this tool. It's a reset primitive that will reset the primitive to its default state. You can also edit the individual points by numerically keying in values, if you like, for each of the active points or vertices of the lattice cage. All right, now into symmetry like I was just talking. Let's hit S to turn on symmetry across the x-axis. Now let's start editing the vertices. You'll, you'll notice here that it's not being edited along the x-axis. That's because you must use the local tool symmetry here, and that's under the parameters tab for the new primitives here. Let's just undo that. And uh, let's show you what happens when we keep this symmetry on, the, the native 3D coat symmetry, or a global symmetry, as it were. Right, we'll do something like that. That should work just fine. Okay, now if we hit Enter to commit this, and you'll see it's created that object exactly as it was across the symmetry plane. Let's hit Undo, let's Control Z, and now let's reset the primitive turn off global symmetry and turn on local symmetry for this lattice cage across the x-axis and you see here we are editing the points across the x-axis so something to keep in mind if you want to have um, these primitives be uh, to be created symmetrically one last note here about these new primitives you can also create new primitives with other obj objects if you hit more primitives here it will actually give you directions on how to do so essentially all you must do is take your obj file place it into the tools presets freeform primitives folder uh, that will allow you to bring the mesh in using this new primitives tool with the uh, lattice cage if you prefer to have uh, more than uh, two points on either end of the the bounding box or lattice cage, then you must set it with a cage.txt file. 